Hi guys, it's AG Jitters and today I'm going to be doing an All My Dolls video. So my sister and I used to always get dolls together on the same year. So she has four American Girl dolls and I have eight American Girl dolls. I continued after her. And I also have one Our Generation and one Welly Wisher. So in total, the whole AG Jitters family kind of thing is 14 dolls. My first doll was Andrea, who was just like you, number four. She was my lookalike, and I got her in 2007 at the American Girl Place Chicago. She is definitely my most used doll. She is used in a lot of videos and a lot of photos. She's obviously my profile picture, and I also bring her around a lot whenever we're traveling, so she has a lot of photos. In 2007, my sister also got her lookalike doll, which is just like you, number 25, and her name is Sophia. In 2010, I got Lonnie, and I call her Lonnie because my grandma's name is also Lonnie, and so I just thought that that was the pronunciation, but I guess it's Lainey. Uh, but I'm still gonna call her Lonnie. She is the only girl of the year that I've gotten during the actual year she was girl of the year. And a fun fact is that we are actually the same age because Lonnie was 10 in 2010 and that means that she was born in 2000. So we are exactly the same age and that's also another reason why she is my favorite girl of the year doll. And then in 2010, my sister also got Julie. Unfortunately, I don't use Julie that much because her legs are really loose and we probably need to fix that. And she's also my sister's doll, which might be another reason I tend not to use my sister's dolls as much as my own dolls. In 2011, I got Mia, who was the girl of the year 2008, but I got her on eBay for my birthday. I also don't use her much because she has some stains on her face that I've been trying to get out and still haven't gotten out. So sorry Mia, I also need to use her more. <laughs> then that same year, 2011, my sister got Avery, which is just like you, number 39. And I think she made her personality kind of, she really liked painting and I remember she also really liked Hello Kitty. Then a few years later, 2013, I got Ruthie, and I mainly got her because I was obsessed with the Hunger Games at the time. I really wanted her because I thought that she looked like Katniss, and I actually originally named her Cat Luna Jackson, I think, but I never called her Cat, so I just made her name Ruthie again and just kept her last name Jackson. Then in 2013, my sister also got the Girl of the Year, Sage. And after this, my sister stopped getting new dolls, so none of the rest of the dolls are my sister's, and the rest are mine. In 2017, I got Clark Steven doll, and he is a renamed Logan Everett doll. And I got him because it had been a while since I had gotten a doll, like four years I guess, and I really wanted a boy doll at the time. Then in 2018, I got Adelaide Walker, and she's probably most known for being AGNDM, which I won in the first cycle, which is really exciting. My next doll, I won in a contest in 2018. It used to be named Eveline, but I never really used that doll that much, so I changed the wig and named it Wendell instead. So now I have another boy doll that can be friends with Clark. And then in 2018, I won a Welly Wisher named Emerson. In 2019, I won another doll in a contest named Nora Morales. And along with that doll, I also won an Our Generation boy doll, who I named Marlon Tyler. So yeah, those are all my dolls. I'm really grateful for the collection that I have. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. Bye.